Joel Embiid. So we're going to be on TBS, huh? Yep. Yes, we are. Man, they going to squeeze us in between all those law and order things. Hey, let's talk about the game, Chuck. It was a heck of a game. How about Bobby Portis? Yeah, heck of a game. But it's All-Star Weekend, Ernie. We kind of going to deviate. Just yeah, to yeah, really. I, I could listen. Yeah, talking, about, MB. talking about law and order. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, 28 to 8 run by the Sixers in the second quarter. Well, we know who the MVP is. He, he didn't like us mentioning other people tonight. He put on a show tonight. <laughs> he sure did. His guys play well also. He yeah, did. Maxi gave, gave him a lift when they were down 12, but man, Joel Embiid. Oh. Joel Embiid is just a monster, America. You know what's going to be interesting when James Harden gets there? Because this is a different pace that James typically pay, plays at. Well, number one, he's going to be playing at a different pace, but the main thing, Joel's going to get a lot less shots. Well, yeah. Well, he is the best lob thrower in basketball, James Harden. So he will get some easy. Work. Well, that's not that's not Embiid's game for catching lob. That's for guys who can't score. Three point game, 109, 106, and then Giannis connects to make it a one point game. I thought Drew Holiday, Holiday knocked down Drew, the three. Drew Holiday was fantastic tonight. He had 24, along with five rebounds and three assists. Too little Embiid. Man alive. 42, 14, and 5. With this win for Philadelphia, it's now a three-way tie for third place. They were in fifth coming into the game. Oh, good job, Chad. You know, I, I don't even think it, it really matters in the Eastern Conference. Like I say, when, when Philly and Brooklyn get their teams whole, those teams, same thing with the Bucks. They can win anywhere. Philadelphia snaps a six-game losing streak against Milwaukee with the 123-120 uh, to 120 win, and their 19-10 and 10 road record is the best in the Eastern Conference. Um, so Doc Rivers, uh, looking ahead to when James Harden can play uh, in their system, says fitting him in is not that hard. Don't overcomplicate it. What will the process be like to, to incorporate James Harden into that mix? Well, I, I think when he says oh, don't overcomplicate it, complicate it is because James is coming from a situation with Kyrie Irving and, and Kevin Durant who actually do things more off the dribble than Joel Embiid. The fact that Joel Embiid can go to the post and he will go to the post and not reluctantly will make it an inside-out game. And to me, it looks a little bit more like Shaq and Kobe in this regard, and maybe not to the level. Let's not go crazy. I, I, I yeah. think you could tell just over the shoulder, yeah. without even yeah, looking at Charles, yeah, that you were the, getting that kind that of reaction level. from him. Not to the level, but what happens is James is possibly one of the top five one-on-one -on -one players in basketball. You cannot double-team him now. Embiid is one of the top five or not top two one-on-one -on -one players in basketball. You cannot double-team him now. So now they get to play one-on-one. -on -one. The best basketball players in the world who can play one-on-one -on -one get to play one-on-one. -on -one. I agree with Doc. This is the answer. James has to realize it's Embiid's team. Let me get the big fella what does that mean? first. What does that mean to you? The best player in the world. I, I, I got to get you going. I can get myself going anytime I'm James Harden, but I got to make sure you get going. Before I got here, you was averaging 28, 30. I got to make sure you get your seven point. I'm going to get you going, and then whenever you go out, whenever you get tired, I can get mine. That was the conversation me and Kobe was at. Get me going first, and then the third and fourth quarter, you take it over. But James has to get the big guy. Like, he just can't come down jacking up threes and Joel and B not touch the ball. If they do that, it will work. If they don't do that, than whatever Chuck is about to say right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, Doc has to say that. I just disagree with him. I think it's going to be really complicated. James plays like James plays. He is a terrific one-on-one -on -one basketball player. Joel Embiid is probably the most dominant player we have in the game today. He's like a, a, a miniature Shaq. He, uh, I mean, he's amazing. They're going to have to find a way. This notion that it's just going to work. No, it's not just going to work. Because one of them ain't going to have the ball. There's only one ball out there. The other one's going to have to find a way. Like, And James, ain't gonna, it's going to be harder on James. Because Embiid can play defense and rebound. James is a guy, he's going to score. He's going to get some assists. But this notion that this thing is going to be smooth, not true at all. Let's take a look at uh, where things stand in the Eastern Conference now uh, that everybody in the East has arrived at the All-Star break. And so Philadelphia jumps past Milwaukee 
with that win tonight. Yeah, the fans here liking that that uh, Cleveland Cavaliers up there at the number tied for the number three spot with the Philadelphia 76ers. Technically, they're four. Milwaukee this, five now in Boston. Ernie, six. Yes, Chuckster. These stats hear me, and I'm not trying to. The things for people putting it. These stats mean absolutely nothing. Why? Why do you say that? Because the next three months, that number 18. They are the scariest thing on that board right there. When KD and Kyrie and Ben Simmons get together, I like the addition of Seth Curry. I love Drummond coming off the bench. That, to me, is the scariest thing in the NBA. Now, the Philadelphia thing is going to be fascinating to watch. But if Kyrie, if they, especially, especially if they change that vaccine thing, which let me say something, Adam Silver, who I love, I did not know until I saw him on television yesterday that everybody who doesn't play in New York can play. Yeah, yeah, you didn't know that. Sure. I, first of all, that's got to be the stupidest thing I ever heard in my life. <laughs> now, now, seriously, if you're going to let random strangers come into the city unvaccinated, why would you not let Kyrie? Does it, like I say, I understand. I wish he'd get vaccinated. But that's got to be one of the dumbest, stupidest rules in the history of civilization. Uh, <laughs> history. I don't know about the history of civilization. There's some things going back. And, and, but well, I'll let it go. That's a revisionist history. 123 to 120, Philadelphia winners over the Milwaukee Bucks tonight.